Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Flow Grow. My name is Christina. Today's video is a yoga flow focused on strengthening your upper back and stretching your whole front body. Without further ado, let's get started. Grab a mat, grab a block and some water and we all gonna begin in seated position with your shins crossed in front of you. As you find your seated position, cross your shins in front of you, close your eyes and bring your awareness into your breath. Deepen your breath here. Send your inhalations all the way down into your belly. You can place your hands on your belly, one on the low belly and one on the upper. And try to breathe in between your hands. Feel the movement of your belly on your inhalation and on your exhalation. Lengthen your inhalations and deepen your exhalations. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Activate your shoulder blades. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bend the elbows out to the side. Inhale, reach up. Cactus arms, elbows down. Bring the hands down. We're going to do cat-cow in seated position. So inhale, arch, arch the chest forward, send the heart up, look up. Exhale, round the back, pull the belly in. Inhale, send the heart up. Exhale, round the back, breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, send the heart up, look up. Exhale, round the back, pull your belly in, tuck on your tailbone. Inhale, send the heart forward. Exhale, round the back. Good, find neutral spine. And start tick-tocking your head, warming up your neck. Go for like circles, whatever feels good for you at the moment. Stretch your whole neck here and change the side of the circles. Good. Find stillness, place your hands down and transition to tabletop. Stack your joints in your tabletop, send the right hand forward, left leg back, pull the belly in as you flex your foot and change sides. Right, right, hand, right leg back, left hand forward, change sides and bring the elbow and knee to touch underneath your belly, pull the belly in, round the back, inhale, reach forward, exhale, elbow to knee to touch, inhale, reach forward, and exhale, elbow to knee to touch. Bring the hand and the foot down, change sides. Right leg back, left hand forward, elbow to knee to touch, inhale, reach, exhale, bring the elbow to knee to touch, round the back, pull the belly in, inhale, reach forward, exhale, elbow to knee to touch, reach forward, and release. Tuck your toes under, move your hands, a handprint in front, lift the hips up and back, you're in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Start pedaling your feet here, move your dog, breathe, connect through your hands, connect through your feet, pull your belly in, you can lift one leg up, bring it down, and then the other one, and bring it down. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Press evenly into the hands as you pull your belly in. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee in towards the chest, step the foot between the hands, lower the back knee down, reach the arms up, low lunge. Bend the elbows out to the side, activate your shoulder blades, send the heart up, look up, reach the arms up, bring the hands down, step back in plank pose. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, left leg up, bend the knee in towards the chest, step the foot between the hands, lower the back, knee down, untuck your toes, low lunge, reach the arms up, and bend the elbows out to the side, cactus arms. Open your heart as you squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring the hands down, step back in plank pose, lower your knees down, lower all the way down on your belly, Send your toes back, keep your elbows in, lift your hands up, and lift the chest up. Release, inhale, lift up, send the heart forward, 
and release. Keep the elbows off the floor as you lift the chest up and release. Lift the chest up and see if you can reach the arms back this time. Keep your belly in to protect the lower back. Activate your quads, lift the kneecaps off the floor. Keep lifting, one more breath. Bring the hands down. Inhale, press yourself up into upward facing dog and release. One more time, inhale, lift up and release. Last one, inhale, reach with the chest up and release. Tuck your toes under and lift up and back for downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, step the foot between the hands for high lunge. Find your balance here, lift the arms up, pull the belly in and bend the elbows out to the side, cactus arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades like you're squeezing a pencil between them. Windmill the hands down, step back in your plank pose, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right away, left leg up, step the foot between the hands, high lunge. Press into the feet as you reach the arms up. Pull your belly in, bend the elbows out to the side, send the heart up, look up, keep your abdominal active to protect your lower back, really important here. Bring the hands down, lower halfway down, inhale, upward facing dog, or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Wiggle your tail here, look to the top of the mat, come on your toes and walk forward, coming into forward fold. Inhale, create a flat back, slide your hands on your shins, exhale, fold, press down into the feet as you come all the way up, bring the hands down by your side. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, bend the elbows out, send the heart forward, inhale, reach up, exhale, bend the elbows, keep your belly in. Inhale, reach up and fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands, step, step back in plank pose. And lift the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee in towards the chest. Step the foot between the hands. High lunge. Press down into the feet as you reach the arms up. Bend your elbows out to the side. Lean over your front leg, reach the arms back, inhale, reach up, bend the elbows out, lean over as you reach the arms back. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up, bend the elbows out to the side, lean over your front leg, reach up, bend the elbows out to the side, and lean over as you reach your hands back. Now step and come into warrior three. Flex your back foot, reach the arms forward, micro bend the, the standing leg and bend the elbows out to the side, cactus arms. Pull your belly in, flex your back foot as you lengthen through the crown of the head. Slowly glide back into high lunge, reach your arms up and step back into your plank. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up, step the foot between the hands, Press down into the feet as you find your high lunge. Bend the elbows out to the side. Send the heart forward. Open through the collarbone. Lean over your front leg as you reach the arms back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale here. One more time, inhale, lift, uh, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Lean forward. Reach the arms back, inhale, lift up, bend the elbows, and last one, lean forward. Now hop and come into warrior three. Pull your belly in, flex your back foot. You can stay here or you can reach the arms forward. Bend the elbows out to the side. Find your balance. Lengthen through the crown of the head as you keep lengthening your back heel away from you. Slowly glide back into high lunge, reach the arms forward, up, I'm sorry. Windmill the hands down, step back in, downward facing dog. Find your breath in your downward facing dog, find your ground and ground down through your hands and through your feet. Start pedaling your feet. Reconnect through your hands and your feet here. 
shift forward in plank, lower all the way down, inhale, lift the chest up, send the hands behind you and lift your feet off the mat, locus pose, keep your belly in, bring your hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest up one more time, send the hands back, lift your feet off the mat, see if you can go a little bit higher this time, really activate your whole back body here, bring the hands down underneath the shoulder blades, last one, inhale, lift the chest up, reach the arms back, lift your feet off the floor, keep your belly really active to protect your lower back here. Good job, bring the hands down, lift up in upward facing dog, and lift the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, step the foot between the hands, lower the left knee down for warrior one, find your warrior one here, press into the feet as you come all the way up, bend the elbows out to the side, send the heart forward, commit to the bend of the front leg, reach the arms up, lift the back heel of the mat, bring your hands on your hips and step into warrior three, one more time. Slowly come all the way up without your left leg touching the floor. Wrap your left leg around your right one for eagle pose. And wrap your right hand underneath the left one. Send the elbows up as you breathe through the stretch into the upper back. Slowly bring your elbows in down towards the knees, round your back. Move with your breath here, take your time. get really small, really compact. Unravel your hands and come all the way up. Take your time, unwrap your legs and send your right, I'm sorry, your left leg back for um, warrior three. Inhale, come up. Left ankle goes on the right thigh. Figure four. Send your hips down, reach the arms forward and transition back to warrior three. Come up slowly, figure four one more time, send the hips back and down, bring your hands down on the mat, fold over your legs, and you can straighten the standing leg if you want, let the head drop, the neck is long. Rebend the right knee, reach the arms forward, take your hands and place them on your um, left shin, and see if we can sit a little bit deeper. And release, come back to standing. Pedal your feet here, reach down, root down through the legs, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold over your legs, inhale, create a flat back, step back in plank, lower halfway down, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, Step the foot between the hands, right knee, right heel down for warrior one, press down into the feet as you reach the arms up. Commit to the bend of the left leg as you open through the heart and connect through the back heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades here, pull your belly in, bring the hands on your hips, lift the back heel and come to warrior three. Slowly lift yourself up. Your right leg wraps around the left one for eagle pose and left hand underneath the right one. Lift the elbows up and find your breath behind your shoulder blades. And deepen your breath here. Start bringing your elbows down towards your knees. Get really small, really compact. Move with your breath, take your time. Breathe into your whole back here. Slowly unwrap your hands and press yourself all the way up. Unwrap your legs, send the right leg back, come into warrior three, reach up, come up, right ankle on the left thigh, send the hips down for figure four. Keep your arms reaching forward, send the right leg back for warrior three, slowly come up, figure four, 
Bring your hands down on the mat, fold over your legs. Let the crown of the head drop, the neck is long. Flex your right foot, rebend the standing leg, go a little bit deeper into your figure four, place your hands on your right shin. Reach the arms up, lift yourself, bring the right, hand, uh, right leg down, pedal your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, create a flat back. Place your hands down, step, step back in your plank. Lower halfway down, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. That was a good one. Bring your knees down and bring your forearms down. Allow your chest to sink down for puppy pose. Take your block and slide it underneath your chest or your forehead here. Make sure your hips are right on top of your knees. Let the heart melt as you allow yourself to go a little bit deeper into this shoulder stretch. Slide forward slowly, coming into Sphinx Pose. Keep your elbows right underneath the shoulder blades. If this is too much on your lower back though, move your elbows forward. Send the heart up, reach through up through the crown of the head as you lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. Your knees are active here, your legs are active. Squeeze your inner thighs, your inner cuffs, your inner ankles as you reach the heart up. Slowly press yourself up and back for child's pose. Wrap your hands back, let your shoulders drop. Allow your forehead to drop down, soften through the neck, through the shoulder blades. Invite your breath all the way down to your sitting bones. Feel the support of your thighs on your belly here. Couple of more breaths in your child's pose. Slowly press yourself up, come into tabletop, and we're gonna go for puppy pose one more time. Reach the arms forward as you let your heart melt down towards the mat. This time you should be a little bit more open than the first time. See how your body feels in your second puppy pose. If you can bring the chin to the mat, that's great. Go for it. If not, bring the block underneath you. Slide forward into your Sphinx pose. We're not gonna stay here long. Bring your hands back, bend your knees, and see if you can grab your feet with your hands for ball pose. Stay here. If you want more, you can press your feet into your hands and really lift yourself up. Breathe here. As you keep pressing your feet into the hands, feel the stretch in your front shoulders. You can look up or down, depends on how your neck feels here. Release, let your feet go, and rest on one of your cheeks. Soften through the shoulders, let them fall down towards the mat. and change your um, other chick. You can shake your hips here from side to side slightly if you want. Bring your forehead to the mat, 
Bring your hands underneath the shoulder blades, press yourself up and back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee open through the hip, right knee right on top of the right hip, while thing, step back with the right foot, reach the right hand back as you lift the hips up. Come back to three-legged downward facing dog, and send the shin behind your wrists for pigeon pose. Stay active at the beginning, lengthen through the spine, reach the arms up, and exhale, fold over your legs. Take all that length and fold over your front leg. Bring your um, hands in front of you and rest your head on your hands, or you can take a block and slide it underneath your forehead. Pigeon pose is a great pose for your hips, especially if you are sitting all day long um, in a chair, that's a great way to open your flick, your hips. Allow your shoulders to soften here. Make sure your hips are square to the front of the mat. Allow your whole body to become heavy. Slowly press yourself up. And we're gonna exit the pose the same way we came in. Lift up and back into three-legged downward facing dog. Start uh, making circles with your right knee. Change the side of the circles. Straighten, straighten the leg and change sides. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee open through the hip, step the left foot back while thing, left hand back, lift the hips up, send the heart up, bring the left hand down, come back to three-legged downward facing dog, open through the hip, and slide the left shin behind the wrists for pigeon pose. Stay active at the beginning in your pigeon pose. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Reach the arms up and take all that length and fold over your left shin. Take your block inside it underneath the forehead if, um, if you want. If not, you can um, rest your head on your hands, your wrists, or on the mat. Again, make sure your hips are square down to the mat. and breathe into the stretch into your left hip. Allow your shoulders to soften. The neck is long. And you can slide a block underneath that left hip if you are not touching the floor or if you feel like you need more support in your pigeon pose. Deepen your breath and try to go a little bit deeper into your fold with every exhalation. Slowly make your way up. Tuck your back toes under, lift your left knee up. For three-legged three downward facing dog, start making circles with your left knee. Change the side of the circles. Extend the left leg and place it down. Bring your knees down. Come to sit down on your bum. Extend your legs. Ra come to lay down on your back. Hug your knees in towards your chest and rock from side to side. Massaging your whole back here. That should feel really good. You can even rock your head from side to side, massaging the back of the head too. Keep your right knee in, extend the left leg along the mat. Cross your right knee across for um, spinal twist. Extend the right hand and look towards your right fingertips.
Good, come back through center. Hug both knees into the chest one more time. Keep your left knee, extend the right leg along the floor. And cross your left knee to the right. Extend the left hand out to the side and you can gaze at your left fingertips. Allow your whole body to drop here, nothing to do. Just let gravity do all the work for you. Come back through center, place your feet down on the mat, hip width apart, and windshield, windshield wiper your knees to your left and to your right. As you change the, the, change the sides, with your breath. Let your knees fall to the left. Stack your left ankle right on top of the right knee if you want to go a little bit deeper. Come back through center, lift the knees up and let them fall all the way to the right. Stack your right ankle right on top of the left knee for a deeper stretch. Keep your shoulder, shoulders down on the mat, keep the back of the head down on the mat. Good, bring the feet down, hug the knees in, bring your forehead towards the knees, get really small, and extend. One more time, forehead towards the knees, pull the belly in, and extend, and last one, get really tiny, really small, and allow your feet to fall, your head to fall, find your final Shavasana pose. Let your feet open, let the palms of the hands open, let your shoulders Fall down, let the chest open. Scan your whole body. Make sure there is no tension, no tension in your jaw, no tension in the neck, no tension in your legs. Feel the support of the ground beneath you, underneath your ankles, underneath your shins, behind your hamstrings, your sitting bones heavy, feel your shoulders heavy, the back of the head heavy, if, and feel the transparency of the front body. Let your breath take you deeper and deeper into your Shavasana pose. How did you like that video? Let me know in the comments below. With any, if you have any thoughts, concerns, any questions, I would love to hear them. If you liked it, hit the like button and if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. 
again thank you so much for joining me have a nice day namaste